Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabila Shasha binti Muhammad Shahrudin from DBS PE. Today, I want to present a persuasive speech about anxiety is actually helpful. Anxiety disorder is the most commonly reported as mental illness worldwide. Have you ever heard about anxiety? If yes, then it's okay, you know what it means. But if you're not, let me show you this short video clip first. Anxiety is a state of worry over a future unwanted event or fear of an actual situation. It brings up feelings of tension and physical effects like increased blood pressure. It's completely normal to experience some amount of anxiety when faced with challenges and life-changing decisions. In the right situations, anxiety can also help us perform better and react to stressful events. Once the situation passes, however, so should the anxiety. If you feel intensely anxious in a way that interferes with your daily life, you might be suffering from an anxiety disorder. Okay, now you know what its anxiety means. I believe most of you may know that anxiety is a serious matter that people who have anxiety are advised to seek for help for, with professional treatment. However, anxiety is actually indeed very helpful for us to perform our further action in a very positive way. So today, I would like to persuade you that anxiety is actually very helpful. There are many points and reasons to prove that anxiety is helpful. The first main point is, anxiety motivates us to do things right on time. Next, anxiety helps us to be more prepared for difficult situations. And the last main point is, anxiety forms positive personality traits. How I believe many of you might not agree with me because obviously anxiety is a part of mental illness but I hope my elaborations may change your mind. To begin my first main point, there was a cross-sectional study conducted at selected government and private universities throughout Malaysia according to the study of BMC Public Health. The students were asked to complete questionnaires which include information such as socio-demographic, academic and many more in order to find a relationship between variables and anxiety. The prevalence of anxiety in this study was 29% and the field of study, financial support for study and current living arrangement were found to be significantly associated with anxiety. Anxiety motivates us to do things right on time. I take an example that very close to us as students. We might get loaded of assignments during every semester and at the same time, we have to study for tests for every subject. But still, we need to manage our free time preciously in order to complete all those assignments and studying at the same time. The difference is, if you did not fear of bad consequences, you will not be able to do your work on time. But if you did fear of getting punished or something negative might ha be happen to your pointer, you could dedicate yourself to complete all the, the assignments before the due date. Some of you also might hate the feeling of uneasy for not doing your work. For example, you know that your friends are all struggle uh, working on those assignments as soon as possible. The issue is, you may have the thoughts like, what if I cannot complete my work before the due date? Or what if my friends are all done already with their work and I am here still doing nothing? So the, the anxiety, the feeling of anxiety lead you to be able to complete the work as soon as possible. This kind of situation is very related to the work that you're not interested the most. That is why research shows that anxiety is very helpful in motivating force. If you are still unsure with my first main point, hopefully my second main point will have a better impact on you. Let's take a look at my second main point where anxiety helps us to be more prepared for difficult situations. The studies from BMC Public Health also stated that anxiety among students in Malaysia is mainly impacted by the academic year. Most of the university students were young adults ranging from age 18 to 24 where this is the age when the developmental stage transitions from the adolescence to adulthood. 
the data was found to be similar to studies conducted at the Australian National University where 28.7% of the students who participated are having clinically significant anxiety. It shows that students are highly potential having anxiety compared to adults. I take an example of difficult situations such as you are going to give a speech or you are going to an interview. Imagine you are in this situation. You may feel anxious because you are going to give a talk in public. There are a lot of people in front of you and I believe you may think a lot about the expectations that they put on you or you may think a lot about what happens if you make mistakes. Same goes to when you are going for an interview. So, the only way for us to be more confident is to be well prepared. We will practice a lot and on how to deliver our speech. Clearly, also the arrangement of sentences that we need to use for the interview and so many preparations from head to toe to fulfill the expectations. Not only that, we will give more attention to things that are more important when we are anxious. For example, if you are about to handle any big upcoming event, the anxiety will force you to recognize things that you need to pay more attention in order you to succeed because it might be difficult for you but the anxiety slowly gives you a solution. Okay, what do you think with my second main point? Still not convinced enough? It's okay. Let's now move on to the very last main point, which is anxiety forms positive personality traits. What kind of positive personality traits? As people who deal with anxiety, they could be a very good leader in terms of leadership. We know that a good group of people must have a very excellent and brilliant leader in order to success in whatever they are doing. To make it clear, Anxiety itself helps the individual to be more aware of the potential of going off, going wrong, making them more cautious thinkers, making them to be careful when it comes to making decisions, and not only that, they would also be a great problem solvers. Anxiety also helps us to be more punctual. For example, you as a student, and you are anxious on being left behind if you are late to go to class or you are afraid if your, le if your lecture is going to scold you and you will be embarrassed if you will be scolded in front of your classmates so that you will try as much as you can to wake up early in the morning just to be punctual. This can be seen if you do not feel anxious at all, you can be late whenever you want without feeling guilty. As now you know, that anxiety can also be a positive way in order for us to have a good behavior. I hope I have convinced you that anxiety is actually helpful. I would like to restate again my three main points. Firstly, anxiety motivates us to do things right on time. Secondly, anxiety helps us to be more prepared for difficult situations. And lastly, anxiety also can form positive personality traits. In conclusion, not all anxiety gives a negative impact or response to our body and of course, these points that I just elaborate are related to minor anxiety. However, if you have major anxiety, do not ignore it and please seek for help and get proper treatment. It can become serious to many aspects of your life such as your career, relationships and your future may be negatively affected by the struggle with your anxiety. That's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.